Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I would like to share with you thrift haul number 30. I can't believe we are at the 30th thrift haul already. I love sharing thrift hauls with you guys during the cold months, the cold weather months, and I can't wait to start sharing garage sale hauls with you guys in this warm weather that we are hopefully getting really soon. This past week we got 24 inches of snow in like 24 hours. So today though is actually like 40 degrees outside so all that snow is melting which is pretty exciting. So I can't wait to be going garage selling with you guys. I can't wait to take you with me to garage sales. But for now, we are going to the thrift store because it is still a little cold outside. So I found a lot of great stuff at the thrift store yesterday. Sean and I went. And after we went to the thrift store, we went to the Dollar Tree because you guys know those go, those two go hand in hand for me um, right now because I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with both of them. So I would like to just jump right into the haul. I found a bunch of random stuff and I think you guys will appreciate it. So let's just jump into the thrift haul. First items I would like to share with you are clothing. This first item that I got is just this simple black dress just a simple pattern dress um i like the style in in the like the knit of it it's kind of hard to tell but it has like a little bit of um different stitching in it it is from the loft and it was originally sixty dollars or at least it was on sale for sixty dollars oh underneath it you can tell it says 79.50 i don't know if you guys will be able to see that at all and then it said for sale for 60 and then I got it at the good or the Salvation Army for $8. But it, and it wasn't half off. But I just think it's simple. Um, <clears throat> and I just wanted to pick it up just so I could have that in my wardrobe. The next item that I would like to share with you is this shirt. And I'm kind of obsessed with these shirts lately. I think I've shared some of them with you guys before. I like the, like, um, the sweater with the uh, attached little blouse underneath this one's kind of interesting though I haven't seen one like this before so it is from the loft as well pretty sure yep from the loft it was five dollars it also was not half off and it's super wrinkly I will definitely have to get those wrinkles out but I like it because it has a bit of a longer bottom to it of like the blousey material which I really like sometimes it's cut like lower and I don't really like that as much with the the, the knit part the thing that's weird though is this isn't that weird this is the collar and it just comes out of it. Weird, right? I, I mean, I'm thinking it's gonna be fine when I wear it, but it's just, I've never seen one cut like that before or styled like that. And I also like how it has the cuffs as well. So I'm pretty excited about this piece. I found some really cute shoes in my last thrift haul and I've been thinking about styling those shoes with that top, I think it'll be really cute. The next piece I'm super excited about, it is just an interesting piece. So it is this denim dress denim dress probably more like a, a tunic type top i like the fade of the denim i like how it's you know darker around the sides but the thing that i think is really cool is that it buttons up the the center but it also buttons up the side i just think that's a really neat feature i really like that a lot and it has uh, a hole for a belt right there and speaking of belts i picked up this belt this thin black belt to go with it the black belt was 99 cents I don't see a brand on it, but it's just super thin. I've been like dying for one of these lately. So I'm excited that I found that belt, but I can't wait to wear it with this dress tunic top. I think it's really, really fun. And I took the tag off of it, but I believe, because I was gonna wear it yesterday and I ended up not wearing it, I believe it was eight. Eight dollars, I'm pretty sure, and I don't think it was half off. Not much was half off yesterday, so it was kind of a bummer. But I really, really love this. I can't wait to wear it. So the next two pieces of clothing you are either going to love or hate. And I shared one with Keely. I'm actually going to give it to her, and she loved her piece, but she hated the one I found for myself. So this is the first one. It's this dress from the brand Erica and Company. It's a totally a 90s dress, but I think it's really fun. It's just florals plain dress buttons down the front all the way down and it ties in the back I just think it's fun I mean I know that like 90s patterns are like on trend right now but maybe this isn't the right one <laughs> so it was five dollars and I thought it was a good deal and I, I think I'll probably wear it in the spring um, when it actually gets warm out the next piece though I think you guys will really like I think you will Keely loves it so this is like 90s perfection 
even with the shoulder pads, which we will just take out. But I love the daisy pattern. Like daisies remind me of the 90s. Like it takes me instantly back to the 90s of my childhood. So I love this pattern and it even laces in the back. It has a nice little tie. So I'm thinking of giving this to Keely. I told her I was, but maybe I'll end up keeping it for myself. Sorry, my battery died. I had to go switch it out really quickly, but I'm back now. So the next items I would like to share with you are things like household things, classroom stuff. Like I like to start with the clothing and then I like to go into the stuff. So the first thing I would like to share with you is for my classroom. And it is this book. It's called Barney Bipple's Magic Dandelions. And I like this because it is pictures by Stephen Kellogg and the story is by Carol Chapman. I have a ton of books like this in my classroom. We like to do author study, illustrator studies, and I don't have this one. So I think it's really, really cute. I love Stephen Kellogg's illustrations. I don't know why, it just really brings me back to my childhood. And this book was only 29 cents. The next thing, so that's the only thing for my classroom, but I have some other things for my home now and different projects that I would like to do. So the first things I'm going to share with you, well, the first thing I'll share with you is this. I meant to display this in the Goodwill Challenge and I actually forgot to. So if you haven't checked out my Spring Goodwill Challenge, make sure you do, I'll link it above. But it's this really, really cute little piece. It's a little rabbit here and a little one standing on top. It's just a little display. It was $1.49 and I meant to display that for the Goodwill Challenge but I completely forgot. And I, I'm probably gonna wait anyway to put this up until, until Easter is actually here. But I just think this is really, really cute. Isn't that so sweet? I just love it. So that will probably go up closer to Easter. Now all of the next items I'd like to share with you, I plan on doing projects with, crafts with, organizational things with, and I can't wait to share all of those videos with you. I am working right now on a schedule so that I can kind of get myself a little more organized because I'd love to share all of these DIY crafting projects with you guys, but I'm just so busy. So if you guys have any tips on how to maintain like a bunch of different jobs at the same time, leave them in the comments because I would definitely appreciate them. So the first item that I plan on doing a project with is something that my stepmother actually showed me and she does projects with these like plain glass plates where she just takes fabric and mod podges them on the bottom and then it makes the plate look like festive for whatever holiday. We did some of those for Christmas and it was really fun. So I actually picked up two, four, six, eight of them. They were each 49 cents a piece. So all together I paid four bucks and I thought that was a pretty good deal for these. And I plan on using those soon, maybe for a project for Mother's Day, maybe for who knows, really any holiday. I like the idea of using it for a holiday though. The next project is also an inspiration from my stepmother and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find a clip of it. She told me about it and I think she shared it with me, like the actual project that she had done before. In the project that she did, she uses like these little cups and she makes almost like little bird feeders. And it's like almost like a, a Christmas tree ornament that you could use. So you get like little, little fake birds and you just set them right next to it and you make it look like a little bird feeder. I got two of these packages of these little cups. They were a dollar a piece. And I just thought that they, they could be cute for little projects. I also thought maybe I could do little seeds and maybe little beans with my kids in this. I thought that they would think that's fun. So I grabbed two of those at the thrift store. They had a bunch of them randomly, they had a ton. The next two items are craft room organization items. I'm really excited about them. The first one is this coffee stack and it is originally used for K-cups. You just pull it out like that, if you guys can see, and you just store your K-cups in there. But I thought it would be so perfect to organize like little things in the craft room. So I, what I'm planning on doing is, we do have a Keurig at the house. I'm planning on trying to save all those K-cups and organize um, using those and then maybe organize little sequins in them, little beads maybe. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys can think of anything to organize in there. For a second I thought maybe it'd be, it would be short, uh, tall enough to organize glue paint, but it is definitely not. I wonder if these things are too small. I bet they are too small. Let's see. Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, guys, they're perfect! <gasps> they work perfectly! <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was like, it's gonna take forever to get all of those K-cups, you see? It fits in there perfectly. Oh, wait, we gotta see if it'll close. It's perfect. I'm so excited. Okay, so now you guys have to give me uh, suggestions below. What should I organize in these? Here, let's fill up a couple more because I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see. It's perfect. It works so nicely. Yes. Let me know in the comments, can you guys think of something I can do with this? Something in my craft room. I don't really think there'd be anything in my classroom that I would need to organize like that. Maybe I could do like, 
like maybe paper clips, staples. Even then I wouldn't have that much room though. They wouldn't be able to store that many. So let me know in the comments if you guys can think of anything that I can store using this. So in my last video I shared a project that I found on Pinterest using those old cassette organizers and I found one of those at the Salvation Army. So let me share it with you. Ugh. Here we go. $3.99 or $2.99 for this piece and I am so excited to use this to make a craft room organizer. I am so, so, so excited. And I know I read the blog post that the woman shared um, of her project doing using this, and she said that it was difficult to find the big one. So I'm kind of happy that I found the big one first off so I don't have to worry about that. But I can't wait to paint this and repurpose this for my craft room. And then I was thinking about, you know, maybe I have too many organizers in my craft room so I might even gift it to a friend um, or maybe make it for my mom for Mother's Day. She might like that. So I found this, it was only $2.99. I just have to find all of the other ones that go with it. You guys might think I'm crazy for this last piece and I'm really, really, really excited about it. I love all things 90s. You guys know that I'm obsessed with the 80s and the 90s because I was a child of the 80s and the 90s. I went to the Salvation Army this past weekend and I saw something that I felt like I could not leave behind and luckily I looked on Pinterest and found some really cute projects uh, to do using these. So let me share them with you. When I saw these, I was like, Sean, I, I have to have them. I, I just can't not have them. Look at these old IBM floppy disks. The entire set was only 99 cents, but like who remembers putting papers on these? Who remembers using these for school? I definitely brought a paper to school with me in my, I want to say my senior year of high school on a floppy disk. Like Oh my gosh. And they have so many like cool colors. I saw a really cool project on Pinterest using these and I'll insert a picture of it here so you guys can see what I'm thinking of. There are so many fun projects to, to do with these and I'm really excited that I found it. I can't wait to do these projects and I know some of you who are here for like my 90s nostalgic finds are probably like, oh my gosh, so exciting. Um, but for 99 cents, I just had to pick them up. I think it's so much fun. Well, that's it for thrift haul number 30. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your constant love and support and kind words. I recently hit 15,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I couldn't have done it without every single one of you. And I wanna say thank you so much. You guys inspire me every single day and you motivate me to keep on going and to keep on working and sharing all of the things that I love with you all. So thank you all so much. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you can see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living Page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!